Welcome back to another one of my projects. Today we have a Python script that is a email spammer. And here, let me press the play button. So right now, we have a Python script of a Visual Studio Code that I've written. And it's gonna play, it's gonna open up browser. And I made this to spam my roommate who's also a computer science major. But also it is just a cool project to make and it was very fun. So see, it's just going through. Again, I'm not even touching anything. I'm not touching anything. Hands free, hands free right now. Hands free, it's just going on its own. So right now we're already in my inbox. It's been what, 30 seconds, we're already in my inbox. We're waiting, it reloads it, just for a more consistent script. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna click the compose button. So compose, see, it's gonna type in my, my other email that I'm gonna send to just for testing purposes. And see, video test, is it working? I think it's gonna send. So I set this script to run three loops, as in three emails to be sent, but you can put a million, you can put 10,000, as long as you just leave your computer on and just have it running. But the thing is that, as you can see, we have a bunch of waiting and, and delays in between everything. That's because I wanted the computer not to be able to detect that it's a script. Because if you just have it spamming super fast, 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 it may, Google Chrome is a pretty smart thing. So is Yahoo Mail. They might say, hey, you're scripting. And I was testing it earlier with logging in Stack Overflow using my Google account, and they could actually tell I was scripting if I didn't slow it down. And so what I did is I did, did like random um, wait times in between each. So see, okay, the, the three emails sent, and, also, and while we're waiting for those emails to come in, um, they should be coming into here. This is my Gmail box, as you can see. I'm just gonna refresh it. See, here's a bunch of emails that were sent earlier. I did like 10 in a row the other, um, or a couple hours ago, working pretty well. But let's go over my code while we wait for those emails to come in. Um, you probably can't see this very well, but I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna open up this template because I don't want you guys to see my passwords. So, see, number of emails, three. I have it set to three. You can set this to 10, 10 million. This is how many times the loop will run. I defined a couple functions, as in wait, this is delay, um, click button, this will click a button. Um, and type in a box. Um, and so we start off opening the web browser, going to Yahoo Mail, clicking the sign in button, username, next. And I did the C using the XPath. So what I do is I would go um, inspect the web browser and figure out what the XPath is. And it is able to basically go in and, use, and execute that code um, when it's on that web browser. So it looks pretty random, but this is, this is the login um, username box that is coded. And then the next button, so by the time we're here, we're in Yahoo Mail, and this is where the spamming starts. So I just use a simple for loop, zero to number of emails, so zero to three, so it'll execute three times. And as you can see behind, all of these have like a wait in between them, that's the delay to make sure that it knows that I'm not scripting. Well, you know, I am scripting, but to make it more realistic and more human-like. And see, th this is the main loop that just executes. So, so basically, click the compose button, Click on the inbox button, or sorry, click on the to input box and type in the person's email. Um, then for the subject you type, I just typed in spam, or right here it just said a spam right now as a placeholder. And then for the message right here, you just type in message. And these are, again, these are all the X paths of each of those different boxes. And at the end, after all these delays in between all these, obviously, um, you click the submit button, which this is the X path. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than the other ones. This is a little bit of shorter XPath, but here, let's check on the email. So see, okay, three emails already came in. So see, those would have kept going if I said a million, but I thought this is very cool because it kind of showed how how to basically code something that would run in the background. It is almost like a ghost is doing it, which is, uh, which is pretty cool as well. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this product. Um, sorry, project, and I enjoyed making it as well.